one of them in the chase, but just as hungry for their first win. Oh, oh there it goes. Ben Rhodes collects a bunch of them. Oh, man. The big one at Talladega. It's Hemrick also involved in the bottom in the 19 truck. There's Daniel on the apron of the racetrack. A big sweeping crash down in turn one. Get back here. And it is the big one. The nine of William Byron driving through the grass. Hemrick, there's the 78 of Fontaine. I saw Look also, at the damage. Brandon Brown got swept into that. And there's the double zero of Cole Custer. Matt Tift, I think, right in front of him. That's Rhodes over on the left. Reddick with a lot of damage in the 29 truck. Major chase implications in this one. Have we seen the four of Christopher Bell make it through that? He was... A lot of damage though to that truck in addition to the bed top being up. And that may that may just line up our there's a four of Christopher Bell. That let may line up our chase with it. Well he's got some damage it looks like, Phil. Yeah, but the I'm not sure the nineteen would be able to finish high enough with all that damage if he's able to continue. There's Brandon, Brandon Brown, Brown that eighty six break for that young man. Had a good run going. How many times have we seen that scene right there at this place. Just big crashes that sweep guys into it. Like Brandon Brown, who had such a great run going. Herbie? Yeah, a lot of damage also. Uh, we saw the 29 first, but the 9 of William Byron actually got through relatively unscathed, all things considered. Uh, they came down, he knew he flat spotted the tire, so you can see him working on some damage on the left rear, right in front of the left rear tire, so they're gonna try to beat that out. Looks like they may have lost a brace right there holding that fender in, but all things considered, the, the left side, not terrible for the nine. Looks like he will at least be able to continue. Yeah, the rocker panel with a lot of damage to that truck. There's the 19 of Daniel Hemrick as they try to make repairs to that truck. Well, the pit crew earning its keep today on that 19 team. They have been busy. They're getting a workout, aren't they? I'd rather have to fix the back than the front. They did an excellent job fixing the front, so maybe they get this back patched up. Maybe it isn't over, Phil. Yeah, maybe they have a quarter panel that they can attach to that truck. It's some semblance of aerodynamics back. Go, 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 go. Let's get her get caught up. Doesn't want to lose a lap. That's still on the lead lap. Great job by those guys. Wow. Look at the cleanup. We know Cole Custer and the double zero was involved. The 86 of Brandon Brown, the 41 of Rhodes, the second truck up there on the outside. That's where it all started. Looked like well, he might have got a shove from the 17 of Timothy Peters. Well, I talked about how he's able to push so well. That means he's always up against the truck in front of him, and there isn't any room for Timothy to push him and push him ahead because he's already bottomed out against the truck in front of him, caused him to go sideways. Look at all that sheet metal flying through the air and those trucks grinding to a stop. I would mentioned Matt Tiff was involved. He is not. Matt right now is in the second position. He got through that unscathed. The five of Corbin, Corbin Forrester. Forrester, the zero five of John West Townley. There is the double or the uh, zero seven of Cody Ware. You mentioned the double zero of Cole Custer, the 86 of Brandon Brown. Of and course Rhodes, heavy contact. Watch on the outside, second truck on the outside lane. Yeah, hard contact, 41, bounces off the wall into the 86 of Brandon Brown. What about Brandon up in the sixth spot in that truck? And Great job by Rico Abreu and Tommy Joe Martins, the 44 truck getting by. Rico in the 98. Well, Rico's dodged a bullet a couple of those <laughs> accidents, hasn't he? He's seen it all today, Vince. Rico Abreu making his first start here at Talladega. Ooh, it looked like maybe Ben was going to the inside. At the same time, Timothy gave him a push, and it just, it just went wrong look at Rico wow how does he squeeze through there up to the high side on the side of Tommy Joe Martin and he had to give Tommy Joe some room too and he did good job by both Martins and Abreu to get through that Brandon Brown didn't have a chance sure did. Just victim of circumstances there for sure most of these guys had 
had nowhere to go, Vince. They just came along, and it happened so fast. The 41 bounces off that outside wall into Brandon Brown and just clogs up the racetrack. So just past the halfway mark and major damage, multiple trucks, the chasers. It's been an eventful day for those eight trying to advance to round two. Remember, only six advanced to the second round of the playoffs and already John Hunter Nemechek, we know he's eliminated with the engine problems early in the race. Look at Abreu and Tommy Joe Martin squeezed through there. And then late, it looked like Daniel Him or excuse me, Austin Cindric was trying to thread the needle and didn't quite make it through there. That's where the damage out for William Byron came from. Watch it from the 19 of Hemrick. We're hearing that maybe the 07 of... Oh, Cody Ware got him from behind. Heard that hit late. I looked up, might have been William Byron. That... From Timothy Peters. See, look at that. Just before Timothy went to give him a push, Ben Rhodes changed lanes. It looked like he tried to dive into the corner a little bit early. Yeah, I agree with you. I, he looked like he jogged to the left just pr just prior to that contact from Timothy. And watch him clip the 86 of Brandon Brown. Wow, that's a huge impact. Just tore the whole front end off that truck. There's so many just had nowhere to go, including the 5 of Forrester, the 05 of uh, John was telling you, they just had nowhere to go. Zero, double zero of Cole Custer. Looks like they're welded together right here. They're going to come off the racetrack all together. And look the at grass. the 98 going by just on the bottom with the 44. Those two trucks somehow skate by on the low side, and then they have to drive abruptly to the top in order to miss another spinning truck. Great job by those two drivers. Yeah, I think they were they were actually making contact side by side there, 98 of Abreu and the 44 of Tommy Joe Martins. Tommy Joe said, Rico, I need a little bit of room here. Move up, bud. <laughs>